Well, we saw some solid downpours through the day on Tuesday. Now we're looking at more activity as we head through the day on Wednesday. And if you got the rain on Tuesday, you saw how heavy uh, that rain really was. Some solid downpour, some gusty wind, some pea sized hail. That's still a possibility as we head through the day on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and take you through the overnight hours. Again, all this energy slowly comes to an end, although as we get closer to sunrise, still have a threat for a few scattered showers and a little bit more active weather will continue to work our way as we get into our Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so as we start the Wednesday morning off, we're going to be in the 60s, a nice, comfortable, mild, muggy start to the day. Uh, through the day, we're going to see those temperatures climb back to the upper 70s to pockets of low to mid 80s, so still going to be a warm and muggy day. And as another piece of energy comes on through, that's going to lead to some more showers and thunderstorms. Again, don't take this as a model forecast as, 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 as uh, you know, just take it as guidance. The idea is that we're going to see some pop up showers and thunderstorms as this energy moves on through. But because again, we have so much moisture in the atmosphere, that's going to lead to locally heavy rainfall where some of us could pick up well over an inch of rain that could lead to some localized flooding and more and or flash flooding. And then that's why the Weather Prediction Center has us under a level one risk for some localized flooding because the threat is there due to the amount or the abundance of moisture in the atmosphere. After Wednesday, the rain comes to an end, maybe a few showers as we get into our Sunday, Monday, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too uh, anything major, just some pop up showers and thunderstorms. But when you look at your seven day rainfall forecast from the Weather Prediction Center, this still have a possibility of a generally speaking about an inch. Now, some of you may get more, some of you may get less. This is just kind of a broad brushed view of precipitation. What we do know is dew points are going to come down behind the cold front down into the 50s Friday and Saturday before they climb right back into the upper 60s. So the mugginess, the, the air that you can wear, the feel of the air throughout the, our Tuesday and really over the last week or so has been a lot, right? So this is going to bring us relief, not just in the drier air, but high temperatures come down a little bit, but also because the air is dry, that means our morning lows are going to be much more comfortable. So very comfortable morning on Saturday and Sunday morning. But before we get there, we're still talking about the showers and thunderstorms. So make sure you have a way to receive weather information. Listen, we had several uh, special weather statements issued by the weather, uh, National Weather Service. What does that mean? It means the storms aren't strong enough to uh, produce damaging winds or damaging hail, but strong with gusty wind, pea sized hail, and locally heavy rainfall. And I think that's going to be the story again on into our Wednesday. So make sure you track it with the interactive radar. It's 100% free. Let's go to Google Play Store or the App Store and search East End Weather. You also have access to the only 24-hour weather channel right here in East Tennessee. I do Wake Up with Witcher starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. Join for the conversation. We get you out the door with a check of weather and traffic. We talk about national holidays, sit and have some coffee talk. If you have any events coming up that is open to the public, let us know. We talk about this kind of stuff on Wake Up With Witcher Monday through Friday from starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes it lasts 20 minutes, sometimes it lasts over an hour. Hope to see you then.